Hi, I'm Luke from Weaveworks, and today I'm going to show you GitOps for Kubernetes. So here I have an app. Um, it's a very simple sample app. Uh, and when you say, I love, for example, popcorn, it tells you, hi there, I love popcorn. So let's use GitOps to modify this app. I'm going to edit main.go. I'm going to say, rather appreciate. And then I'm going to make a branch because I'm a good programmer. And then I'm going to do a commit. And then I'm going to push to my origin. And then I can go to GitHub, make a pull request. Then I can imagine that I'm someone else and review my own pull request, merge the pull request, and tidy up after myself. Yay! Okay, so my change has been synchronized and released. Uh, and so now if I go here, then I can see my change has been released. Wonderful. But code is not the only thing you need to change with GitOps. Sometimes you need to change configuration. So let's suppose that we need to bump uh, the port that our service is running on. So I'm a good DevOps person, so I'm going to commit this to a branch. Then I'm going to push that. To an increased port number branch. Now I can go to my config repo where my Kubernetes config is stored. And I can uh, open a pull request. And just like last time, I can pretend that I'm coming along and being someone else and reviewing the pull request. Uh, looks pretty good to me. I knew that we needed to bump the port number for some reason. Going to merge that pull request and now I'm going to deploy that configuration change in exactly the same way that I deployed a code change. And there we go. So GitOps has told me on Slack that um, that's been synchronized and so uh, that should be now available on port 30008. Okay, wonderful. So it works. Uh, the app is still functioning on that new port. Um, but um, what if I don't always want to deploy the latest version of everything to production? If I go here, I can look in um, a hypothetical Google Cloud Platform interface that we've taken the liberty of creating. And we are proposing a new section, something like this, container deployments under container pipelines. This could be a new element here, for example, under the build history in your container registry, uh, you could have container deployments, and we might rename uh, container registry to container pipelines because this is more generic now. We can go and look at that CalSafe service service here in my continuous delivery tool, and I can turn off automation, for example. So I've turned off automation. I could now go and roll back to a previous version. Looks like it's done the release. And now I can see I'm on the older version. If I go back to the app, and I can see it's gone back to love. This powerful UI that lets you roll back and lock things, for example, to say, hey, colleagues, don't um, come and change this. And now I'm locked that. I've locked that onto the version with love. So that's GitOps for Kubernetes. It allows me to modify my code or my config and release those changes into my cluster just with a GitHub pull request. Thanks for watching.